Hello, in this video I'm going to be looking at how to create an Autodesk account and in particular uh, an education account which will allow us to have free access to Fusion 360 which is the 3D CAD software that we use here at Campus de Nation. So the first thing I've done in a Google search or any search is I've gone to uh, Autodesk Education and this is the link that I'm looking for. And here we are. This is going to allow us to create our account. So let's have a see what do I need to do here. I'm going to go to get products. Um, and on this page here, I'm just going to manage my preferences on the um, cookies here and just say no to all. OK, on this site here, I can see all of the Autodesk services that I have access to if I can get myself an educational account. And all of these would then become free as, uh, as a student or as an educator, but I can't access them yet because I need to create my account. Now, as it turns out, if you already have an Autodesk account created, what you can actually do is sign in and then just make sure that you go through the, the same um, authoriz authorization steps that I'm going to show you in this video, um, which will allow you to have the free access. And this free access basically lasts for one year, which means that the following year, you will need to go through the same steps to renew your educational license uh, requirements. Um, okay, so let's, first of all, I'm gonna assume here that I've not got a, an Autodesk account already set up. If I have, I would have to go to sign in, but I'm just gonna go get started here and imagine I'm starting from scratch. Okay, so we are going to go with Switzerland. Uh, we're going to be a student. Uh, it's going to be now. This is the strange thing. Okay, uh, we are here at the uh, <laughs> at the International School of Geneva, but bizarrely, uh, Autodesk classifies us as a university and post secondary. Okay, fair enough. I'm not going to argue with them. Let's run with that. I'm going to put my date of birth here. Um, well, I'm just going to put in the first of January just for this particular user and let's have a see i'm going to put in 2005 um, as the uh, year of birth okay let's go next i think you can change that later if you want to in your account settings okay let's create this user so a letter there i'm just going to pause this while i fill it in Okay, so I've filled all those steps in there. We're looking good and I've agreed to the terms of use and I'm going to go ahead and create that account. Okay, so now we need to just check our inbox to verify that. Okay, so we've verified the email there. Let's click on continue. Okay, now it says here it's not been verified. I'm going to have to just double check that. Okay, so now we can continue because we've verified the email. Now, here's the deal. We've said that we are at a university um, rather than a secondary school. So what I'm looking for here is Campus de Nation. And there we are. And now we're going to go to product design. Let's have a see. I'm going to say here that I've been enrolled from September 2020. And let me see. If I was in year 11, I would be graduating in two years' time, which would make it in June 2020. Is that right? 2020. Sorry. 2021, 22, 20, 2023. 20, there you go. So that would be if I was in year 11. And the current year is, uh, this is currently the first, so 18th of January 2021. So you're going to have to just work out when you're graduating there. Now, please notice that if you hadn't selected a university uh, in the previous section, then Campus de Nation wouldn't come up. So you have to make sure that you say that you are at university level. Okay, we're not over yet though. Let's go next and continue. Okay, and now what we need to do, okay, we still have to confirm our eligibility for educational access. So to do this, I'm going to click on get started again. I need to just confirm my details. So we are at a university called Campus de Nation. Uh, you can confirm your date of birth, etc., and then confirm. And now what we have to do is uh, prove uh, that we are a student at Campus de Nation. So to do that, you need to take a photograph or scan 
both the front and the back of your student's ID card and then upload them by uh, dragging them into this box, the files into this box, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, so there you go. I've uploaded the front and the back of the ID card. And then all I need to do now is submit. And it says this will take up to 48 hours and normally it takes about five minutes. So we're going to keep our, our eyes um, on our email and uh, just wait for that message to come through. And as soon as it is, um, I will be able to confirm what happens next with this video because it's not over yet. There's a few more things we still have to do. So don't go away just yet. Okay, so once you've confirmed your your uh, your email, um, or once you've got the confirmation of your eligibility through an email, should I say, then you should be able to click on Get Products from the email that you receive. Or you can see here that in my case, it's automatically gone on to the website again and confirmed that we can now get Autodesk software. So now we are able, um, okay, so here we are. Hi, uh, Aidan. Your educational access to Autodesk products is valid from now all the way through until the 18th of January 2022. So this is what we want to see. Now I can choose from this list what I want to get. If I go to Fusion 360 Get Product and now Access, it's now given me uh, a one year full license, educational license to Fusion 360. And notice as well, it's also starts to download the client. Now we don't need to worry about the client in this case, if you're working with a school computer, because we've already got Fusion 360 installed. But um, you can of course also install it uh, onto your own device and Fusion 360 works on both Macs and PCs. So that would also be really cool. And the super thing about Fusion 360 on top of everything else is that it saves your files to the cloud so it doesn't matter which machine you're working on you'll always be able to access all your files with your Autodesk uh, login account. Okay, so there we are. That is the process complete. As I say, the key thing here is to make sure that you say that you are going to a university because they have got Campus de Nation as a university. Okay, great. I hope that was useful. See you around.